All right, here's another video. I'm trying to get some all these body parts to my other car. So the front radiator supports and the trunk. Just spot real quick to get some more parts out. I'm trying to somewhat reorganize my unit with all these car parts. Yeah, just to uh pick more the other coming along with my video, you know. Working on my video and trying to edit and do better on this. Um what I'm doing with these cars. My accord. So these are for the C B no C D five. So that's what we're gonna go see soon. So all this I've been playing out right now. Gotta go take all this stuff out, load it up in the van, and off I go to Fate. That's where my car is at, at the body shop, so I'll be back. Alright, so here's the other side, pulling out the other body parts. Got the bumpers, fenders in the back. Just gonna pull out the hood. What else? Uh, the grills and small pieces. Yeah, I gotta go find those. You know, CD5, the conversion. My CD7. More videos, guys. But um, uh, yeah, pulling these guys out and uh, deliver them. Okay, so I am 16 minutes away, but who knows, cause this, uh, so let's go back, uh, we was 2020, this body parts, um, this, uh, front end and rear, uh, conversion, this, uh, front end C, L, that's the Honda Accord uh, from Japan or Europe. Right here. So that's that. So we're not gonna have those anytime soon. And I think another year or two. Don't quote me on that. Um, there is a bunch of videos about it about that particular car. Um, I think. Or something about that. Uh, somebody in that where, but ain't feeling the way how the car looks. Um, and yeah, uh, it was today on Facebook Market browsing for car parts, like always. Um, this one I did, and it was like, um, seeing people did the conversions. Florida and 2020. I text, uh, message this guy, uh, and the guy um, respond. He has a front clip. Chat him up. Um, uh, get all the information and back and forth. I'm trying to see if this is a real deal. Um, and I was like, whoa, finally. I went to his page and I saw he has the bumper and the rear uh, tail lights and everything too. I was like, holy shit. And um, then as I was messaging, talking back and forth, and um, it was very weird text. Two different guys, I got different um, address to get there, and um, he was all the way in the San Antonio, and I was in uh, Dallas area. So it would have been like a five hour drive to go pick it up. And uh, message him, and then I got back and forth. Like, the whole week I'm trying to make sure this is like a real deal, not a scam. And there's all kinds of scams happening. I've been scams. Stupid. 
trying to make sure they're real. So, um, uh, call them, talk to them, everything. Got the uh, get them to record the video. Um, and, uh, yeah, I told my buddy, uh, TK at the time, and he was like, oh, yeah, that's cool. All right, I'm down to go. Um, he was working at the downtown location, the restaurant, and he get off at 12, and I will go pick him up, and then we take the five-hour drive straight down there and back. And uh, we made the plan, talked to the other guy, and made a deal. It's like, hey, I see you have both. Let me get both uh, front end and the rear for this amount. And bam, you know, I'll bring cash. And we're coming from Dallas, uh, getting off at uh, the restaurant at 12. And we're going to take the drive. So meet up like at 5 in the morning. So, um, yeah, everything went through. Um, didn't want to go to the, the address. It was outside of San Antonio. It was like an hour or like 45 minute drive. And I didn't want to do that. It was like sketchy. And it's like, okay, meet up at this uh, address at this apartment. Looked it up. Everything looked like legit. This is a real place. And I was like, okay. And we ended up planning and everything. And we hopped into the car. Right after he got off, my buddy TK got off the work, and we went and took the five-hour drive all the way there and to the apartment. Boom. They stayed awake, messaged them back and forth to make sure um, they were still awake five in the morning. Two guys loaded up in the truck and everything. It's like a little sprinkly uh, sat with them for a minute, and yeah, what up? Grab the stuff at five something in the morning in San Antonio, and it's pretty much like this. Stop at Bucky's like twice for gas. Um, got all the body parts, front headlights, everything that you guys are seeing, and yeah, we freaking drove all the way and then drove back right after that. It was a ten-hour drive. To go pick up these body parts, um, this front clip and this rear, and I was like, "Whoa!" And the price I got it was a steal, like compared what what I see on the market or on eBay trying to get these parts or in Japan. And I was like, "I'm still blowing my mind. I, I got this whole one in actually doing a conversion." And ten hour drive, we, we did it. Me and my buddy TK, we, we took the drive, I took the five hours down first, and then he drove back, and I took a nap. It was all hype, we got the music going, and we did this crazy 10-hour drive, and pick up all this body parts from uh, my CD5. And so now it's finally two years later, I get to uh, go somewhere and try to figure out how to put this car together and then planning and all that so that's the story how I got my front end my rear <laughs> so right now it's dark it's kind of hard see this is my porch CD5 Auto, uh, motors pulled out. Fixing that, so motor and trans out. Fenders, body parts.